The Iron Dome is the only dual mission system in the world that provides an effective defense solution for countering rockets, artillery and mortars, what is called CRAM in short, as well as aircraft, helicopters, UAVs, unguided and precision guided missiles. The system is an effective system for countering CRAM threats at ranges of up to 70 kilometers and for very short air defense protection or VSHORAD at up to 10 kilometers. The system operates in all weather conditions, including low clouds, rain, dust, storms or fog. A single Iron Dome battery is required to protect an urban area of approximately 150 square kilometers. The defended area growing if the rockets are fired from greater distances, which is crucial as the Hamas has just demonstrated it can fire missiles at distances of up to roughly 200 kilometers, if not 250. The Iron Dome is indeed able to intercept and eliminate a wide range of threats like Hamas Qassams, Hezbollah's Katyusha rockets and even Fajr rockets supplied by Iran to the Hezbollah and Hamas. The Iron Dome consists of three key elements. A detection and tracking radar, a battle management and weapon control and a missile firing unit. The detection and tracking radar system is built by ELTA an Israeli defense company and subsidiary of Israel Aerospace Industries and by IDF, the Israel Defense Force. It provides air surveillance, hostile weapon location and fire guidance. The Battle Management and Weapon Control Center is built for Rafael by Empress Systems, an Israeli software company. The missile firing unit launches Tamir interceptor missiles built by Rafael. A typical Iron Dome battery has three or four launchers with 20 missiles in canister per launcher. The Tamir is a short-range surface-to-air missile optimized to neutralize artillery rockets, mortar and artillery shells. The missile uses several steering fins for high maneuverability and is equipped with electro-optic sensors. It is designed for high efficiency and low costs. It has a proximity fuel explosive warhead which is triggered by an active laser fuse which is then used to destroy the target. Notice that the cost of a single Tamir missile is around 100,000 US dollars. How does it actually work? The detection and track radar unit detects incoming threats and sends information to the management control unit. It detects the rocket's launch and tracks its trajectory. The target data are transmitted to the battle management and weapon control for processing. It calculates the hostile rocket trajectories, filtering out those aimed at unpopulated areas. Let's make a distinction between the detection range and the tracking range. The detection range can reach 475 kilometers in the task of air surveillance or up to 100 kilometers for weapon location. It works in 360 degrees in air surveillance an angle reduced to 120 degrees in target detection. When tracking is needed, the radar can take up to 1,200 targets in charge for air surveillance with up to 200 targets per minute for weapon location. In 2012, Rafael developed a new version of its Iron Dome able to destroy targets at distances of up to 250 km away. After having been launched, the interceptor missile receives trajectory updates from the Battle Management Center via uplink communication. The interceptor approaches the target and uses its radar seeker to accurately hook the target and guide the missile within passing distance. A major feature is that the incoming target is detonated over a neutral area, therefore reducing collateral damage to the protected area. A version of the Sea Dome is made by Raytheon in the United States that uses Sky Hunter missiles. This is what William Patterson, program manager for the Sky Hunter, explained to Army Recognition. Raytheon has uh, been working with Raphael, trusted teammate for a number of years now, building uh, components for Iron Dome for the nation of Israel. Uh, we thought it was a logical next step to bring that system into the United States to Sky Hunter. Uh, it's a great system. Uh, for a very small amount of, uh, of investment, we bring a huge capability to the U.S. and to its allies. There are uh, several threats it's designed for. It was originally designed for counter-rocket artillery mortar. However, it's very, very capable against uh, air-breathing threats, helicopters, uh, aircraft, uh, 
unmanned uh, air surveillance systems, and as, as well as some of the, uh, the uh, low-end cruise missiles. Can to an extent, unclassified, it's about a 15 kilometer range. That's 360 degrees from the launcher. What you have behind here is a launcher, one launcher of a battery. We brought in an entire battery to the United States to show that capability. So with that battery, you have command and control, you've got missiles, you've got uh, launchers, as well as a radar. So the whole system together provides the, the capability we think is, uh, is needed to fill the gaps out there. There really are, are four parts. Uh, you do have the radar, which does the acquisition of the targets. Uh, you've got command and control, which basically integrates the, uh, the launchers and, uh, and up to six launchers uh, with the uh, radar and prioritizes radar and launchers. And then on each launcher, you have 20 missiles. So a battery consists of about 120 missiles uh, across a fairly large area. So it's a very effective system for air defense or in closer counter-rocket artillery mortar. In January 2021, the United States bought the Iron Dome system directly from Israel. A naval version called Sea Dome Naval Point Defense System can be mounted on a ship for self-defense against a wide range of simultaneous threats. The Sea Dome uses the ship's own surveillance radar. It doesn't require a dedicated fire control radar. The weapon system command and control is seamlessly integrated with the ship's combat management system, facilitating the operation. The interceptor missiles are maintenance-free and stored in sea-proof canisters. Up to 10 interceptors can be loaded into a modular vertical launcher unit. Let's come back to the Iron Dome. So far, as calculated from the thousands of rockets fired by the Hamas in the current war, the success rate in the interception is 90%. On the 19th of May, Israel mentioned that the Iron Dome air defense system had intercepted a drone sent by the Hamas militant group, a first for the platform, according to the country's defense forces. So far, in total, the Iron Dome has intercepted six drones using multiple countermeasures since hostilities began between Israel and Hamas on the 10th of May, the Israel defense forces said on Monday the 17th of May. A senior Air Force officer described the interception as a significant advancement.